So, are you okay about being in? Yeah. Cool. You have to sign a form now, like sure, just look it up on the internet. Okay, so we're we're just going to interview Simon Mirage form. here of uh, <laughs> formerly of dog food and now. Uh, no formula. Okay, of dog, dog food dog. and uh, and uh, Betty Zoo. Betty Zoo, Betty in the Ear, yeah. Betty in the Ear, right. gorgeous. And we want to talk to him well. right here in Woodbridge <laughs> Road in Mosley on the railway bridge about his obsession with Frank Zappa's dick. I have no. I have none. You showed me that photograph in that book in, in the, not the Heron Hounds, that pub in Harborne, right? And you sh and you went, look at that man. <laughs> it was, the <laughs> and Frank was where it was legend for wearing no underwear. This, his dick was about that long. It was like the house pipe thing in the Elvis Presley stuff. I didn't show you that. <laughs> He's denying it. There's a picture of Todd Rundgren with. You decide the, who's the telling the truth the here. Is. <laughs> With your record, me, I like making Keith's dicks. You know? <laughs> There's a dog food uh, reunion coming up. Not a reunion. Yeah, we've no, been on. Why not tell the boss when he's got a gig? <laughs> anniversary. I bet, I bet he caused you a load of headaches, didn't he? Did oh, you have to fire him in the end, or did he just uh, walk? He walks. But you never, you never leave dog food. Though. You're always there. There's yeah, like the KGB. Yeah, very much so. What yeah. about Temple? Rich, Rich. Well, we're going to have a go, but because uh, he's, he's contactable. But he's contactable, but he's too busy doing what he does, Make which I'm not on liberty to disclose, but it's, <laughs> it, he told me this in person, <laughs> that he's, he, he's got the most successful S&M website in the world. This was fucking five years ago. Yeah, it's, it's so I do think what he's doing like now, he's probably like selling it. the Chinese whips <laughs> and chains. Yeah, so, um, well, we're, we're going to try and get him, but I oh, don't hold that much hope. Wow. So you need a bass player? <laughs> uh, no, Anthony's going to do it. <laughs> Because he knows, he knows how lazy and stupid I am when it comes to learning notes. So it makes sense because Anthony knows half the songs anyway, if not all of them. And he's sane. <laughs> is the other thing. <laughs> well, relatively sane. <laughs> I mean, if I, if I wasn't a keyboard player, I'd do it because I played bass as well. You're going to play bass <clears> probably <throat> on one or two, aren't you? No, is that, is that a gig you did with you like did. Future with Maria Fronting over in Telford? <laughs> where you yeah, played you the, remember that? It was a perfect fucking gig. Every time I see Maria, I, I go, yeah, I remember that one. I wouldn't to Pete because you've gone too many gigs. It was fucking, the only problem was it was a desk and you couldn't hear the bass. You could hear the guitar because it was cutting, you couldn't hear the bass. <laughs> you, you were using the bike Okay, now then, what did, what did John Ann's whistle die of? Uh, cocaine, wasn't it? Cocaine ripple of relative heart attack. No, it was that last blowjob that did him in. The mm. cocaine has got nothing to do uh, with it, you know? I wasn't there, fortunately. <laughs> I start to worry. I don't know if you are about Liz. Like, I start to worry she's going to lose it. We're going to take two cream, weeks. Man. We're going to Film have a great vacation. We're going to take our problem to the United Nations. <laughs> I phoned up my congressman and he said, "Boss, sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do because there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Now turn that fucking camera off before my roadie throws you in front of a nuclear train." I'm going 